Hi, welcome back to the 130 Women Gallery for number 13. This is our final installation and for this installation we take you to present day, an installation where everybody is special for a moment. Yes, you guessed it. The gold fields would not be the same without our incredible Angie the Fairy. Huge part of our popular culture of the gold fields in current day. So Angie, as you know, is uh, still living. She is estimated uh, 340 years old. Still growing really strong. And who doesn't recognise that iconic purple gazebo when they come to events and parties um, it is not an event in the gold fields without a purple gazebo it is where memories are made it is where generations of children are getting to know angie the fairy so a little bit about what we have in this installation You may or may not be aware that Angie the Fairy actually lives inside a purple teapot. So this is local ceramic artist, Tash, or you might know her as Florence and Folk on Facebook and Instagram, has made this gorgeous purple teapot for Angie the Fairy to live in. Now, we also have in here, these are one of my favourites. This is another one of our juniors. This junior is a little bit more special. This junior happens to be the daughter of Angie Sutherland, a.k.a. Angie the Fairy. And look at these guys. Oh, my gosh, are they not the cutest thing that you have ever seen? The attention to detail is absolutely incredible. Little army of Angies. Now these guys in the silent auction are a little bit different. We have, I think it's 10 of them. So the deal with these guys is if you would like to take one of these gorgeous little guys home, so add a little bit of a magic to your house, then you need to pop on the auction sheet what you would be willing to pay to take home one of these fairies. And if you're one of the top highest bidders, then when you come to collect, you get to choose your favorite one. So first in best dressed, get the highest bids on there and be the first one to come and collect. And you get to choose which Angie the fairy you would like to take home for a bit of magic in your house. So Grace is one of our juniors. She's not quite 18 um, and she has made these incredible fairies with the attention to detail is just brilliant love those little guys so get your bids on and um, you can get to choose your favorite one to take home this one here our magical fairy yes she is uh, a gorgeous little almost a stained glass effect here by Kelly Akaro with her experimenting with digital images on fabric. We actually uh, got the image from Stoked Photography, who's done quite a bit of work with um, Angie over the years. So we um, got this as a reference image from Stoked Photography for the project. We've made this incredible piece of artwork here another bit of textiles here from Kelly Akaro toadstools these are incredible if you have a fairy obsessed child or you've got a little fairy sort of installation somewhere these are just 
absolutely gorgeous. Check out those ones. Now this one here, something a little bit different and wild and wonderful from Linda Ray. It is um, a fairy throne. So when you sit in here, you get to feel special, resting, resting your wings, lit up with um, some LED. Mixed media. Everyone is special. So take a seat in the fairy throne and uh, see how special you feel. And the last thing we ask for you to do in here is um, please leave us some fairy wishes. You can post it in the top here. Or some messages for the fairy in here. Absolutely incredible. So for Angie, we have, um, there is a interview online on our website and, and also in our front reception area about her life as a fairy, but also the other work that she does in the community with early childhood learning and mental health. She does some incredible work throughout the community. Um, especially in the early childhood learning area, making sure that all children are, are special and um, looked after. So this one here is actually another local artist, all embroidered. This is um, Angie's equipment, but please take a really close look at it as well. The amount of work in this is absolutely incredible. There's details all through it. There's little dragonflies and butterflies on it and flowers and so many, so many layers of texture and interest. So an absolutely talented um, embroidery artist there. Also, we have uh, a residency done by Linda Ray. This one's actually still a little bit of a work in progress at the moment. We have more memories loading still. You might recognise the photos that you've sent in. So we're still adding magic to this curtain. It's called Magical Memories. So you can see here some of some of Angie's favourite memories and also some of her clients' family uh, favourite memories that have been sent in to be included on the fairy curtain. So we're adding some more magic, sparkle and jingle to this curtain um, every day. So come in and see if you can see your photos that you've sent in um, on the magical, jingly, tinkly fairy curtain. When you're in here, you can have a little bit of a listen on our child-friendly purple headphones. Um, it's a little interview with Angie the Fairy by the ABC Radio. And then to complement that, as I've said, there's also an interview online and in our reception room. So how's the auction in here going? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only seven bids on the fairies, so make sure you get your bids on there. You might be able to take home one of those gorgeous little guys. Um, there's, there's room there for uh, more people to be taking one home. Toadstools are still available and the fairy throne is still available. So come in, enjoy the magic, have a listen to the story about how Angie lives in a purple teapot. Uh, read her full story about the other work that she does in the community as well and uh, watch the interview as to why um, Angie the fairy as a, a representative of the place and culture of the goldfields of current day. When her name was put forward to us, it just, it was a no brainer to include her for present day. Uh, Cause as we've said time and time again, 130 women is about collecting and shining the spotlight on the women who contribute to the place and culture of the goldfields. So present day woman who makes the goldfields a place that we love, absolutely, Angie the Fairy. Come on in and see us at 226 Hannon Street. We're right next to the clock, 
last days at the moment we're open 10 till 2 from Wednesday till Sunday but our last day is the 6th of um, April which is Thursday the Thursday before Easter then we are closed then there is no more all of the artworks are going to their new owners they mostly getting distributed around the gold fields which is absolutely lovely we can't wait to see them in people's businesses and homes as a memento of the 130 women project it's going to be a bit sad to turn everybody off um, it's been nice to turn them on every morning and kind of say hello to all the different characters so if you haven't made it in yet please come in because these virtual tours really only scratch the surface so we look forward to seeing you in here soon and the silent auction closes on sunday at 2 p.m sunday the 2nd of april so come on in and put your bids on if you want to take yourself home one of those gorgeous little fairies get it on there the beneficiary for angie's um artworks is radio lollipop radio lollipop visit children in hospital and um just to add a little bit of sparkle to their day make them feel special for the day so absolutely just epitomizes what angie does for every child day in day out see you in the 130 women gallery soon